hello guys welcome back um i like actually look deceased in my viewfinder right now so i'm so sorry i promise i do not look that bad in person right now i cannot tell how it looks but i don't like how it's looking on my screen there we cannot always have the sun coming directly into my apartment unfortunately i just got back from Hawaii and it was such an amazing trip. I'm just putting on some banished pumpkin enzyme. If you know, you know, this stuff is so good. It gets rid of all kinds of like dead skin and makes the skin look so much brighter. I have some like rough patches and some dry patches, maybe from being in the sun, I'm not sure. Yeah, I just really need to exfoliate. I will leave my discount code below if you wanna try Banish. They're, you, if you know, you know, but they're vegan and cruelty free and a really great brand to support. It's been maybe a couple weeks since I posted because I did take a vacation and that vlog should be up. Today we're going to be trying Valentino Beauty. I got sent this very luxurious box of products. Let me finish putting on this face mask. I'm gonna leave it on for 10 minutes. We are back, we are exfoliated. We still look very deceased. I don't know what's happening right now, but I guess I'm just, we're all gonna have to deal with it. So this is the Valentino, very Valentino, 24 hour wear liquid foundation. This is supposed to be semi-matte, 24 hour wear um, and long lasting. There's an SPF of 26, which I love. I'm going to talk about in a later video, uh, the SPF I used in Hawaii and part of my key was having a foundation that had SPF in it. So it just has a pump. Um, here's the liquidiness level, drips slowly. I don't know if that helps you out, but I'm just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna jump right in. I just squirted some all over my floor. Dab it on with the Beauty Blender because this is my usual method. Um, and I will say right away, ooh, it has that totally old lady luxury makeup smell if you know what I'm talking about. Like, oh my gosh, it's like very nostalgic to me. I don't know what this is reminding me of. I think it's reminding me of my Aunt Evelyn, to be honest with you. Yes, she used to wear perfume like this and she had um, a pet bird that she named George and George was actually a girl, but she was um, in denial and just kept calling him George, which was also the name of her um, deceased husband. So Aunt Evelyn was a very interesting lady. It was just best not to mention that George laid eggs, you know what I mean? Okay, enough of that. I guess today I'm just sharing a lot of information, you know? Well, this foundation, the packaging is very, I actually personally really like it. Obviously, I think this is going to be a personal preference type thing. The reason I like this is it reminds me of the 90s. It reminds me of something like Kate Moss would be carrying around. Um, and I love like a good 90s supermodel vibe. Like, it has to be just done right though. Like, I'll show you some of the other packaging um, from the same line that's like, not perfect for me but like the reason why I really like this foundation bottle is it's really heavy and it's glass and so it is a $64 foundation that at least the packaging kind of looks and feels like it is that expensive here's one side versus the other let me zoom in really close for you guys it's really good I can definitely see that I'm wearing a foundation meaning it does have a good amount of coverage to it and whenever a foundation has more coverage there can just be this like slight like cakiness that happens like I can just see my pores emphasize a little bit right here but I think as, I, as soon as I set it with powder I won't be able to see that so the other thing that I wanted to mention about this line is I don't know if it's cruelty free or not unfortunately usually I try to only review cruelty free brands however there is some confusion I thought it was cruelty free but I don't see that it says cruelty free on the website now obviously if that's something that you care about please keep that in mind so like I'm sure she didn't mean to but I love that my aunt Evelyn was like 90 and just defying gender norms and gender expectations even if it was a bird and even if she didn't really mean to be doing that you know that's pretty cool for her age so this is the eye to cheek thing um this is really just a blush that they say you can use on your eyes which you can always do with every blush this is what the packaging looks like and it has the valentino classic like rock stud button here to open up the packaging and it comes with this little useless brush um i I hate a useless brush, you know? Like, what is the point? 
So even though this packaging still has that kind of 90s supermodel vibe, it's really not my favorite. It's super lightweight. It just feels crappy. $58. This is almost the exact, this is almost the price of the foundation. And it just feels so lightweight. So I am disappointed in this packaging. I also think that this whole little like top part is just a little bit bulky for me. I am personally like things a little bit more minimal. So if they just like cut this off and made this like a perfect square, I would have preferred it. I think it would have looked a little bit more chic for me. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna get rid of that for right now because I who's gonna use that? Um, well, me personally, I won't use it. So this is what it looks like. Um, let's go ahead and try to put a little bit of the blush on our cheeks and then I'm gonna also put some on eyes. Um, I think I'm gonna do like a really graphic liner -y look today um, because if you feel like it, you can check out the campaign that Valentino did for this new beauty brand and a lot of the looks featured a really graphic eyeliner. I'm just doing like the over the nose blush thing to look a little bit more sun kissed. In person, this blush looks really pretty. I really like it. Let's go ahead and use this as a crease shade as well since it is supposed to be eyes to cheek. Um, I am really glad that they are, you know, pointing out that you can use products for eyes and cheeks. However, I will just mention that it's not like there's anything special about this formula. You can use any blush, um, you know, for an eyeshadow that did go on really, really pretty. It's just a really beautiful raspberry. Oh my gosh, maybe I'm changing my mind. Really loving this shade. If the packaging doesn't bother you, going on beautifully. I'm gonna skip to brows super quick. I just want to get those out of the way. This is the brow trio. I thought this was a really cool idea. Um, so if you pull off the cap, there's this thin little brow pencil and then pull off the cap again, you've got a spoolie. And then at the other end, you even have, which I love these things, like a brow pen. You use all three and just see how that goes. But I actually really like this concept. It looks really sleek. It's just like all red packaging. Let me just use this little thing. This mirror is really nice. It's a nice size. And I like when brow pencils are this shape just because it makes it easier to create hair-like strokes rather than just kind of like mashing a brow pencil into your eyebrow, you know? Okay, I actually really like that brow pencil. That took like two seconds. Although, see, I automatically flipped it around to the other side to try to use the spoolie. So that's a little bit different. I have to get used to. Okay, I actually really like that brow pencil. That was lovely. This might be a product worth checking out. Let's see how this goes. Let me test this on my hand. Oh, okay. So it's this perfect, it's creating like a very light hair strokes. This isn't like a dark color. Spoolie's like really sturdy too and thick. Um, let me show you how these look. Can we see? Very natural, very pretty. The only thing is they did not sound a send over a brow gel and I don't know if they have one. A boy brow and just run it through just a little bit. I'm not gonna like you know, make it look crazy different. I just have like, I have to set my brows or I just feel unfinished. There's that, I really enjoyed this like brow trio thing. I will say there are just kind of like a lot of caps going on like that are a little bit, you just have to pay attention to what you're doing more if that makes sense. But I think once I got used to this, this is, would be a really super like useful, quick type of brow product. Next, the products that I'm really excited about. I know that this one is about $30, so I assume this one also is. And it's interesting because Valentino Beauty is kind of presenting itself as this luxury brand. And some of the products are luxury priced, um, like the foundation and this blush. Um, however, this glitter, like I said, is only $30, which is still expensive, but it's more like Urban Decay pricing. So the pricing is super weird. Like the foundation is $64 and the lipstick is $55. So that's really close in price and I just feel like the pricing is a little weird for me, a little off. Like they also offer this um, Go Clutch Refillable Compact Powder right here and it basically looks exactly like this but with a chain on it 
and it's $205. Way more expensive than the rest of the line and obviously I support everyone buying whatever the fuck they want but I personally, if you want my opinion, I feel like this looks really cheap. I just have to be honest and for $200, like I just can't imagine. So I'm gonna put on these glitters in a second but I do wanna do the liner. So this is the twin liner. So on one side we have a black pencil. That's what it looks like. It's pretty black. It looks like it is going to be a little bit smudgy which I actually like. And then on the other end, we have what looks to be hopefully a really nice sharp tipped black eyeliner. I thought we could do some sort of graphic liner today in keeping with the sort of editorialness of the brand. Okay, eyeliner is not perfect, but it will all come together in the end. If you are someone with super shaky hands, this probably isn't the one for you. It kind of reminds me of Glossier Pro Tip because it's got this super, super fine end that picks up every little movement in your hand, which I actually really like um, because I tend to do such like little graphic liners and stuff like that. But if you know yourself and you know you have a super shaky hand, I kind of more recommend something like a felt tip liner. Let's go in with the other end. I think I'm just going to um, tight line with this. So right under my lashes and see how it goes. It's really fine. So it's fitting under the lashes really nicely. Oh, okay, that actually worked well as a tight line. It was not super coming off super super black um, Which is fine for me because with tight line. Hopefully it won't um, transfer down into the bottom here I really liked this eyeliner moving on we have this beautiful silver glitter and I'm thinking that it's Let's see what texture it is. Um, but it's not a lot of gel It's just kind of slightly emollient to keep the glitter in there So I think I can go in directly with it. So while I do think this is going to end up looking pretty I'm personally wishing that this was in more of a gel. This is the wet and wild glitter I'm talking about they make these in single eyeshadows as well And when you dip into the silver, let me just show you look at how much sticks to your finger and then let me dip into this silver from Valentino. So when I rub it on my hand, um, right here is the Wet n Wild, right here is Valentino. Wet n Wild, it's absolutely glued to my skin. And you see how that just comes off more silver and shiny? The silver glitters in the Valentino are just a little more sparse and not as bright. So this is the Lip and Cheek Loose Glitter. I'm gonna use a little bit on my eyes first and I'm going to use this Revolution Glitter Glue just to give it something to stick onto. And then what I really love about this cheek and lip glitter is look at how cute this little wand is that comes with it. It's just this adorable little wand. Go ahead and stick that on. You kind of have to shake the bottle to get the glitter to stick to the wand, just to let you know. Mascara on, I did not hit the record button, but this is what it looks like. Um, it's just a red plastic tube. Um, I really wish they would have maybe made it metal or something, like Milk Makeup Cushion Mascara. I think that that would have sort of elevated it a little bit and made it feel a little bit more luxurious. Um, but it's fairly volumizing. It just has one of those wands where the little spikes on it kind of go every which direction. I think I personally personally prefer a wand that has a little bit more of a comb effect, like even the Milk Makeup Kush, it's still volumizing, but the bristles are like in nice straight rows. So I guess that's my personal preference. Finally, we're going to do these lipsticks. These are $55 and the packaging is very cute. It's that very 90s supermodel vibe, which I like. I do wish again that this wasn't plastic. I don't know, I just feel like it would have elevated it a little bit more. But here's what they look like. They're a bit interesting because they are supposed to be refillable. So you can just actually pull out the bullet from the tube. I did not get sent a lip liner. I don't know if that's part of their line, but I am just going to throw on the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Pinky Brown. I feel like when it comes to a full lipstick, lip liner helps, so I wanna use one. Okay, let's go in with this lipstick. Oh, it's so smooth. It's super buttery smooth. It smells delightful. It has like an old lady smell to it, but with a little bit more sweetness. I 
actually really like the smell of that. It smells very luxury. So here's the look. Ignore these freaking hairs sticking out. And the eyeliner is a little bit wonky, but I drink a lot of coffee this morning, so I'm giving myself a pass. I think the colors are really cohesive. I like the graphic eyeliner. I really, really love this pink glitter here. So my overall opinion, I really liked some of the products. I'm a little bit underwhelmed overall. I just feel like they could have gone a little more fun with it considering their advertisement for this brand was very editorial and cool, but I do really like some of the products. The foundation, as far as I can tell, looks beautiful. If you like this kind of thing, if you like a semi-matte with some sunscreen, it's really pretty. I have nothing negative to say about it. I also actually really loved the brow pencil and, or this is the brow pencil, the brow pencil and the eyeliner were both great and the lipstick, super smooth. Um, it has a tiny bit of shine to it. It's not completely matte, but it's super, super pretty. <sighs> now moving on. Um, if you really, really like this pink shade, which I really do, it might be worth purchasing. I don't hate this. This is just a really pretty loose glitter, to be honest. But when it comes to this, like I showed you, they're just our cheaper options. When it comes to this, absolutely love how it looks on the skin. Gorgeous. Love the shade. Love how it looked on my eyes and cheeks. Packaging is just not perfect for me. While it is fairly chic, I just think it could have been better if it was heavier weight and felt as luxurious as it looks. Same with the mascara. This just isn't my personal perfect mascara. I think a lot of people would like this though. So those are my opinions on Valentino Beauty. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys would like to, of course, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!